Greetings everyone and welcome back to Dungeons 3, where today the enormously, frankly criminally gigantic cup of coffee drinking evil is going to be checking out the latest and greatest DLC. Thanks to Calypso for allowing me the opportunity to check out the unexpected DLC, or rather an unexpected DLC. As you can see, there have been quite a few. Once upon a time, Evil of the Caribbean, a Lord of the Kings, and the Clash of Gods. I have streamed some of these, and uh, I'm not actually sure any of them have made them to their way to YouTube. Perhaps, if you enjoy this little glimpse into an unexpected DLC, and let me know down in the comments, they will at some point. I might record them anew. But let's get in there and find out what that is to find out. I know practically nothing, so you're going to be getting a, uh, a pristine blind run. The Forest Path. Talia had set out to battle the Forest Queen. Well, that's, that's uh, pretty sweet. And to the point, of course, we're going to be playing on Hellish. I, I never play this on anything, but and that's why I die a lot. Another DLC? Is this ever going to end? For crying out loud, I spent ten years in acting school, and now I'm recording text for a third-rate computer game. Never changed, oh, well. narrator. Never Where changed. Where were we? Oh, yes. The winning streak spoiled evil's winning streak kept on rolling. Heroes had become a rare sight indeed. Marvelous. Too bad, oh, really. not marvelous. Pounding on little snots just isn't the same thing. But I mean, I still do it. <laughs> <sighs> Nevertheless, the scouts had sighted more enemies. The Forest Queen, a mystical creature from ages past, granted protection to a few remaining heroes. Treason, blasphemy, wickedness. Wait, 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 that's no good. No worries, that's why I'm here to take care of this once and for all and put an end to this little bush fairy monarchy. <laughs> Permanently, violently. In case I wasn't quite clear enough. However, the entrance to the Forest Queen's realm was magically sealed. To open it, the rune stones would have to be found and set in the places of power located in the dungeon. Oh, that's handy. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. Find the rune stones and put them where they belong. We can do that. All right, creatures, swarm out and bring me anything that looks even remotely like a rune stone. Uh, I'm not sure that you should be quite so vague. I, uh, if we're dealing with, you know, Runes of power. I, I think we should be very, very certain that they are, in fact, the rune stones that we need. Otherwise, things could get a little bit nasty. Uh, right. Okay, well, that's actually, in and of itself, quite nasty. There's not much room for traps there. Though we've got some arachnids, which is great because they're incredibly hardy. And down here, we've got a way out. Let's uh, go and peek over. Well, actually, where does this one go? Mm, can I go through? There we are. Okay, so we come out from there. We are going to need a, an island of evil. Of course, we've also got this. Night. The display indicates the time remaining until day, such as night. At night, heroes are sluggish and will attack your dungeon only sporadically, if at all. By day, your creatures are in fine spirits and will gladly set their needs aside to prepare for battle, chaos, and bloodshed. Mm, okay. Very well. Uh, that's a bit of an interesting one. We've got uh, a dungeon mouth down there. That is someone over there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we've got a little camp just to the side that we could possibly bash our way in. Possibly a better idea to go through that side rather than through the gate. Okay, right. Well, I can see everything I need. Let's have a look at our roster of creatures. We've got a demon, three banshees. Okay, so some undead straight off the bat. I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not unhappy with this, I must confess. Uh, right, well, we are going to want, well, we've already got quite a few things unlocked, frankly, but, as usual, I would like to get to Naga's pretty sharpish, and then, a bit of extra, uh, population for our dungeon as well. There we go. Right, now that does mean that we've got three different races, which is... Honestly, ne not exactly the best thing. Um, it is useful to try and specialize your creatures where you can. Uh, also, I would like that room expanded out a little bit. I'm not at all content with this, though. I think that needs to be moved down if we can. 
Uh, in fact, we can move it quite far down. We can move it three tiles down, which means we can buy three tiles, which is going to give us enough room to make a path around there. A uh, windy wending path all the way... Oh, what is there? I have no idea, but it, uh, it's got an exclamation mark, which I like. Uh, but a windy wending path so that we can channel all of the heroes into the same rough location and thereby uh, force them to go over all the same traps. We want our traps to work for us as efficiently as possible. And that means trying to make sure that each trap is passed by every hero in the dungeon rather than having two separate alleyways of traps. Uh, right, we've got a bit of money in the bank. Shall we uh, get some more little snots? I think we should. There we go. Let's get you out there. And further to that, we are going to dig ourselves a wee room over on the side. Well, actually, we want it to be at least uh, in twos because I believe each bed is two wide. So we'll have something like this for our backs. And we'll give them a, a nice little... Actually, we'll pop that down there. We'll give them a nice little uh, quick access into the foodery. I think that would be uh, well appreciated by our rather hungry uh, goblins and orcs specifically. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's also expand out the treasure room. All... Fairly uh, normal so far. We're not hitting any of the more interesting stuff yet, and we probably won't for a little bit. And, uh, I'm not sure if this has added any new units or if it's just a new campaign. The other DLCs, typically, mostly, it was, it was just uh, new campaigns to play with the, the same units you had, but each map had a different kind of gimmick. For example, this one having night, and it did change the game quite a lot. I really would strongly recommend the other DLCs. Uh, again, I'm sorry I haven't uh, showed them off on YouTube, but uh, for those who have attended the streams, ah, uh, good times those were. Right, there we go. That's all been pulled down, so we should be able to just shunt that down. We might have to wait on that one. It is a little bit expensive to do. So instead, let's focus on getting the horde in here. We want some Nagas. Not that the Nagas can heal the uh, the undead. I Can they even heal the demons? No, it's actually, I don't believe they can. Uh, I don't believe that Nagas do heal demons, because demons will rest in their own... Uh, or rather, they'll regenerate. I could be wrong on that one, though. So we'll have to uh, refresh my memory. It's been a little while, you see. Uh, there we go. Marvellous. Dunk. Right, we are going to want to hire some Nagas. Two, two, for now. We would like to get an orc eventually, but unfortunately, we have... Little, well, no, we've got one space left. So, yeah, we should be able to get an orc still. That would be very, very useful. Orcs are, you know, even at late game, they are actually uh, still a fairly um, potent part of your army, simply because of the amount of damage that they can sustain. All right, let's have a look over here, then. All right, so we're starting to, to branch out a little bit. We know... I would like, well, I guess I could just have them fill in these areas if I need them to. Let's uh, let's excavate this gold while we're there. There's also all this gold down there as well. And some mana stones. We don't really want those mana stones yet, though. We've got nothing to do with them. Uh, we could do that. There we go. Right, with that done, we should be able to get ourselves an orc, and that is rather useful. Now, it'll be daytime. Well, it is daytime already. Okay. Well, hitting the heroes now wouldn't be ideal. Oh, no, here they come. This is what I was looking, I suppose. Uh, right, we are going to want pretty much everyone with us. So let's grab the arachnids. Banshees, we want you there behind. There are enemies in your dungeon. There we go. And Talia will come Jack, at last. So heroes. we're going to let them... Well, there's actually a decently powerful unit there. Come on. Go down there. No? Really? Hurry up. Good. We'll attack the weak ones at the back. The there we are. Is being attacked. Their main tank there. Too far away from their damage dealers to really be able to offer much help. We'll very quickly uh, cut these ones down to size. There we are. The healer. I mean, we should realistically be focusing on the healer, but you, there wasn't enough uh, tanking here for it to require that we focus. Though I really would love it if you would focus on the wall. Please and thank you. Just a, a wee slap to let the minions know who I would like them to prioritize, and all is well. Uh, there we go. 
A little bit of gold out there, I imagine. And straight up there as well. Okay, so that is all looking good so far. Let's continue this down. That is also all looking good. Right, I love the fact that we can just fill in walls. Such a good feature in these types of games. A little bit OP, but I don't mind a little bit of OP. It's fine. We're evil. We're not meant to be playing playing it fair. There we go. Let's get all of that built out, and then we can uh, shape that room up properly. In fact, given that, let's go the ahead and absolute fill evil this had room. discovered a buried room containing what? a few heroes. Whoops. What? Wait. Ah, oh, Scallywax. That was very much an oops. All of you, please. Um. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Oh. All of you, please. Let's grab absolutely Destroy everyone. The there we go. Drop them all down there. Come on. Ah, oh, I didn't miss that, Talia. I really didn't miss that. No, no, no. Your dungeon heart is under really? attack. Really? Someone's already on the dungeon heart? Wow. Okay, they're being remarkably... Enemies uh, have entered the dungeon. Remarkably... Uh, persistent, aren't they? Oh, there you go. Everyone should get down to the dungeon heart now. Hell yeah. Just, just distract them for now. That's all I need. As soon as your health gets low enough, I can't see your health thanks to the thought bubble. Talia, that is super, super unuseful. Ta there we go. Talia, move. You go up there. The dungeon oh, wow. Is being they are attacked. being incredibly persistent. Wow, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, I do kind of need air. Uh, we'll see in a moment. Well done. Stick them out. How much would we like to go on the dungeon? Yeah, we're fine for the dungeon heart now. And it's going to be nighttime very soon. So that's okay. There we are. Going down. There we go. And then kind of need you all at the dungeon heart. There you go. Drop, drop, drop. The dungeon heart is being attacked. Go for their healer first, please. I mean, if you could. I'm not sure if they're even going to try and get over there. There's a bit of a problem. Um. Yeah, we'll just grab everyone. Drop you all down there. That'll be a little bit easier. There we go. I had forgotten the hotkey. I was using F1, which was only picking up Talia, but what I really needed was F2. There we go. Thankfully, the Nagas, or well, rather, the Nagas are getting people back up on their feet somewhat, but uh, it was still a little bit closer than I would have liked, I'll be honest. They certainly weren't, uh, weren't pulling their punches there, were they? Okay, well, nighttime should buy us a, a brief reprieve. Long enough, at least, for us to get this done. A relic of anti magic slowly destroys your mana. Oh! Well, that's. That's really not actually quite. Nah, yeah, I'm not a fan. Super not a fan, actually. Hopefully, we, uh, we can resolve that one fairly quickly, in fact. Right, what I would like you to do is sell some of these rooms. We're right uh, down here. Pomp. There we are. Rebuild your rooms. Just down there, please. Payday. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we've got to wait for all of the little snots to rebuild those beds, but that's fine. Let's just uh, help out a little bit there. And with that, we should be able to fill in... Well, in fact, we should be able to fill in that entire section. There we go. This would force them to have to attack in this direction. Maybe I can hook this one up down here as well in the same way. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Though, um, see, I've got a funny feeling that I would end up burrowing into another hero chamber. So let's just do something like that for now. There we go. That'll do. There we are. Can we get a better view? No, it doesn't look like. I'm not doing too terribly bad, but I think you're going to need to take out that gun a bit more long. Oh, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay, try and do your best, peeps. I would love the zombies to join in, but unfortunately, I don't think they're too interested in that. How about an arachnid, though? That should be fun. They are incredibly tanky, and uh, our Naga is doing a fairly good job against the Warlock over there. Hold on, you. There we go. Arachnid should have that healer out of the way in a moment. There we are. And then onwards to destroy their spawner. There we go. Marvellous. Well done. I'm very proud. Keep up the good work. 
Uh, right. It is night time. We've got four minutes, and we are going to need to go out there and take out an island of evil so that we're actually generating research points. There we are. Excellent work. Can we destroy this as well? That would be grand. Looks like we can. Perfect. Right, well, whilst the rest of you are recovering, hopefully... Yeah, I think we're going to need another... Have we still got an orc? No, we lost our orc. Much sadness. Okay, well, we'll get another orc then in that case. There we are. There we go. That is taking way too long to be taken out. Uh, could I get my zombies over there? And all the zombies. Go ahead. Perfect. Right, so we've only got one direction that they're going to be attacking us from now. Which is glorious. They That way we can focus all of our traps into the same area. Uh, it's not exactly the best setup. Um, to be certain. Still, it's not a terrible one. There we go. We're not going to worry about it just for now. As soon as this is gone, then we can start uh, getting out there and taking everything out. All right, everyone everything together, please. Evil. Let's go. Bow. And we'll do a little bit of digging around here while we're there. Uh, that looks really tempting. I've got a funny feeling this is leading me astray, though. Right then, everyone. I am shameful evil. creature. Ah! You dare desecrate my forest I mean, in your presence? Yes. Feel the power of nature. Apparently, the forest queen wasn't in the mood to receive visitors. Instead of milk and cookies, all she had to offer the stunned evil's creatures were deadly vines that whipped and hit at whoever came near. Oh, that's just rude. And don't forget those maggot thingies. Ugh, disgusting. Get a move on mm. and deal with that stuff, you cowardly dogs. I think we're going to have to, yes. Can you just attack it? Or... Ouch. Ooh, that really hurts. Okay, just run through. If you can. Just weather the assault. We just need to get over there. Go, go, go. All of you, as best you can. Try not to stand there, please. Keep moving. That's right, there we go. Oh, that was nasty. Very nasty. There we are. One down. Thankfully, the arachnids are fantastically powerful. You hear that there grinding go. sound? Oh dear. That's a giant worm eating its way through the underground. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. It was too good to be true. I called it. I did. Okay, try and try and focus your fire if you can, please. Uh, there we are. And now you, please don't be attacking my naga. My nagas are not there to be attack tanks. My nagas are there to heal the tanks. You see? I uh, will destroy this land. Okay, can we get, get through here? Is that? Removed the vi oh it has. I think the vines just eventually left. Oh well, that's quite useful. Maybe they were on a timer. I approve. Right now we need to get back down here like super fast because we have lost a lot of time there. Uh, all right. Now then, so we've got worms up here. I mean that's not the worst thing in the world actually. Worms are fairly easy to deal with as far as things go. Still, ah oh, now they're in my dungeon. That's not good. In fact, that's that's the opposite of good, in fact. How about we get Evil everything? Will triumph. Uh, could I get you all down there? Because then you can be pulled in by the baby giant worms. <laughs> the mini giant worms. And then hopefully you can deal with the giant disgusting worms. Thank you very much, Zombles. Always my favorites. Any, any unit that I can make out of dead hero units is my favorite, basically. Right up there with killing your enemy with their own Evil weapon. Will try right, need you dead as well. Please. Uh, right, so with that done, we are now starting to generate evilness, which is fantastic. And that is going to enable us to do a few things. Namely, down here. Uh, I really, really, really need Talia to be a bit stronger. There we go. Jobs are good. Uh, let's expand this room out a wee bit. By a wee bit, I mean a lot. Now, we are going to need to get up to the point that we're making traps fairly quickly, I would say. Uh, that is going to be a pretty big requirement. Now, how big is this device? It's a 3x3. Three three. Hmm, okay. 
Well, let's make this a 3x4 then, because we can get two of them in there and have some room for storage. In fact, let's make it a 4x... Uh, sorry, a 3x4? No. Enemies what I meant to say was a 3x7, so that we had an extra tile there. But I'd actually like one down there as well, so we can store quite a few of those crates. Oh, hello. I mean, that's not terrible. The mage is going to be a little bit of a pain. But you've got no healer, I notice, which I am all aboard for. Fantastic. Right, we are probably going to have some coming down there as well. What on earth is that? What? What the dick? The, a mysterious mushroom? Hmm. Seems interesting. <laughs> Very, in fact. Right, we're going to want... We've got a gunner there, so... Tally, I'm sorry to do yes, this to you, but... Here we go. Haha! Force the gunner to... Oh, didn't work. Talia! Yeah. Afraid you're just going to have to weather this one. There we go. That's Destroy fine. The good. I wanted them to deploy their cannon all the way over there. No, 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 no. You go up there. And you. Don't engage them near the cannon. Take I, if I thought about it a little bit better, I would have them all fighting a little bit further up. But that's good enough. The gunner's cannon is far away and unable to aid in this battle. Which is exactly what we need. Take that, you worm! Marvellous. Alright, Talia, getting you some more levels would be very good. Once you've gotten up to the point that you can have the shade, that is a big, big thing for us. Super good, in fact. Uh, the crypt might be useful. Hmm. I mean, getting the horde into the crypt is very good, yes. But it can be a bit of a pain. Instead, I think we're going to research the prison. So that we can make even more units out of dead heroes. I think this will be grand. Uh, we'll have the prison over here. It seems like a, just a, a perfect room for it, frankly. Uh, we don't need a very big prison. Uh, right, okay, with that done then. Uh, there, my, ah, there we are. We need to expand our treasury. There we are, perfect. Okay, so we've got plenty of money, and we're slowly ticking up the evilness. It's not going up very fast, I know, and that's, that does pain me a little bit, but it's just the way it is. Uh, let's get one there and one here. There we are. Perfect. That'll start generating us boxes, which we can then use to make the requisite traps. Uh, again, we're going to try and funnel all of the traps around here. Uh, I might actually have this uh, go up and around. So there's just so we've got some windy areas. Uh, because, come on, let's, let's face it, traps are amazing. And we also want a prison. Right there. There we go. Perfect. All right, we should be getting some extra. There are undeads. enemies in your dungeon. That's fine. That's fine. It's just more more fodder for the prison. Let's actually make sure the prison gets built quickly uh, before we start slaying people. Otherwise, it's all for naught, really. A snorry. Ah, good old Snorry. Move faster, Snorry. There we are. Uh, actually, I want I want more imps to slap. I haven't slapped nearly enough imps. Snort. Oh, Snotty, you've got, got a snap, uh, Snops. Is that Snops? I think it's Snops. Sniffle. And, uh, no, we're not going to snap Sniffle. No, Sniffle isn't going to get any slaps. So that uh, it feels like they're getting preferential treatment, and then the other imps are going to be mean to them. Uh, efficient imp abuse is the best kind of imp abuse. Uh, novice does kind of need to die. Uh, a trauma fire, if possible, because then you don't have to worry about the cannon. Oh, wow, the cannon got taken out by AoE. I approve. Well done. Very well done. Okay, so with that, we're going to go and go back out. I mean, we had made it all the way across. We can't go that way, though. We're going to need to. Looks like these vines are really funneling us. I disapprove. But we want to take this out so that we've got more evilness coming in. Uh, the alternative is to find out what's... No, oh, that's a very long winding way, isn't it? Mm. That's going to be a bit of a potch, but... Uh, we'll get there, no doubt. Are we dragging dead... Ah, oh, almost dead Enemies heroes. This is glorious. We're going to have skeletons soon. It's going to be a brilliant time. Okay, so, with our... Well, again, increasing that a little bit more would be nice. But getting all the way over to traps, Tinker's Cave would be very, very good. Okay, let's get up to the Tinker's Cave. And then we should have enough to get the Arrowfly. 
Uh, sorry, the uh, arrow wall. Arrow fly and win. Um, mm, they're starting to send out some stronger units now. Uh, right, let's Take grab everyone. The enemy. And deploy you about there. I want that novice in particular to be the focus of all your hatred and wrath. There we go. Perfect. Ow. Apply the damage right now, please. You're going to have to do it quickly. Ideally with AoE so that it confuses this. There we go. Good old Banshees. There we are. And the next one. Ah, uh, the AoE from a Banshee is amazing for when the uh, when you get a group like this because if there are if there's a heal up here that can actually be really hard to take them down if you're only focusing on one of them. But if you've got a big group like this and everyone's got a bit of damage, the healers are sometimes really dumb and don't focus on keeping themselves up. Even though the tanks can weather an awful lot of damage, they'll typically get all of the attention of the healer, leaving the other one to die, and then you can make some progress. Otherwise, oof, that's a bit of a long-winded fight, typically. Uh, have we got any skeletons yet? No? Well, okay, I suppose. Uh, right, what have we got over here? We are going to need... This is a 5x3 tile. Leave a little bit of extra room. Plonk. And then we'll cap that part off there. I think that'll do well. There and there. There we are. And this will be where we pop all of our, tr um, our Tinker's Cave to get the traps. Because we need to throw the boxes into traps via the Tinker's Cave. That being said, though, now would probably be a good time to get out there and do a little bit of uh, damage against the heroes. Uh, still, I kind of feel like this one would be a, a nice one to go for, because if I hit these one, well, that being said, maybe I should just break my way in, try and take this out while I can. Um, sure, let's be a little bit more aggressive, shall we? So, everyone, let's go. Oh. I know you're not fully healed. I don't care. There we are. Right then. Command me. Try not to get hit by any crazy vines. Ideally. Mm. I feel that I'm being led on a mini path right now. That worries me a little bit. Let's see if we can't. Can I break through up here? Really? Oh, that is a shame. I thought I might be able to just break the wall. That would have been so convenient. Man. Vine shot really? out of the ground Again. and reached for okay. the horror hosting evil's creatures. No. no, I refuse. Not happening. I refuse. Uh, we'll try and go over this way. I think the vines just die after a while, so maybe I just need to explore, get the vines to pop up, and then come back later. Uh, yeah, probably something along those lines. Let's see. Alright, so we'll have to take it carefully. Make sure we don't get hit by anything. But we are definitely being led on a certain... Ooh, okay. Okay. Fine. Shot out of That's the fine. Ground and That's fine. For the I just want to... I just want to destroy this. Whatever it may be. This might not actually help me. It might hinder me, but... Ah! It's fine. We're doing it live. Also, Talia, come a little better. There we go. The next one will be great. Okay, so what happened there, then? Ooh. We've got critical hit bonus. Um, I'm going to give this to a Banshee. There we go. Let's go and take on the next one. Uh, I like to give those sorts of things to undead because, well, they don't die. Um, if they perish, if they fall in battle, they will revive in their in their uh, in the graveyard. So by giving them skill books, you know that they're going to keep it, which is very useful. Um, I mean, I suppose uh, I don't really need it. Ah, oh, what have we got up here? Then? We got many. I think we could probably take him on. Sure, go for it. Pick up the novice first, please. There we are. We'll probably be able to wipe out the cannons with AOE as soon as the batteries start uh, wailing. There's the other. Uh, I can't see her, but take out the apprentice if you can. Thank you. The mages are glass cannons in the, in the, the purest sense. They do enormous amounts of damage, but really can't take much damage. So taking them down... Quickly is generally a very good uh, Ooh, I noticed someone was wanting Krog. That's going to be a bit of a problem for me. We are not yet able to produce it. I'm going to have to make a beeline for that then. Oh, there we are. We can now produce it. Hooray! I like it when it's easy to solve a problem. Right, well, while that's going on, I think I may have to uh, revise my plans and instead make a little area in here for Grog. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst idea. 
Sure. I do like the horde, so we're going to be having quite a lot. I, as I was mentioning, even even late game, the, the orcs and, and goblins are fairly potent parts of your army. So having the means to keep them happy makes a lot of sense to me. There we go. They become quite powerful, actually, once you start upgrading them. So. Alright, what have we got? We've got... A wizard. Whether there's one, there is even many. Ooh, what have we got? We have a thirst quencher. Ah, that would have been useful. Okay. You can grab that then. I will now we no longer need to grab. Ooh, that is way more Danger of a fight than I thought. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And oh no. For the creatures. Keep running. Ah! Oh no! The person I just gave a skill box to is probably gonna die. <laughs> this is awful. Uh, just keep running. Fine, oh, really? Come on now. That's just that's just rude. Creatures. Super rude. Okay, fine. Take on the ward. No, actually, go for the novice. Looks like we're in this fight, whether we want to be or not. Uh, if you want to ignore it, then just, I'm fine with that, actually. Go for the mage. The mage is probably going to be able to tank a lot of that damage, actually. Uh... The apprentice don't have nearly as much health, but it, they do just continue to scale. I don't think this is a fight that we're going to win. No, and we've lost our um, non-thirsty orc, which is a bit of a blow, honestly. There we go. Uh, go for the apprentice, please. Focus on the ones that will die quickly. Hey there we are. Thank you. I should have been doing that from the beginning. That's my bad. How have you guys got? You're going to continue to do a lot of damage to me. Which is a bit of a pain, but you're doing AoE damage to me, so I do need to take that out quickly. I'm not sure we're going to win this one. I think I may end up losing all my Nargis, which is actually quite the pain. Ow! Yeah, I know. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I mean, it's not awful, but it's certainly not good. I should have been going for you the whole time. Oh, my lord. I thought they had much larger health bars. My bad. There we go. Now, the heroes are going to start attacking, so we kind of need to be done with everything we're doing up here sooner rather than later. There's some more down there that we don't really want to mess with. But I would like to find out what this is before we uh, press on. There we go. And you're healing naturally anyway, so it's fine. Now, how much Talia need for the shades? 350. Evil will right, we triumph. Life improvement. Decreases the creature's life. Um, sure, I'll give that to a tank. Seems like a really Thanos good idea. Thanos must die. Right. Off home we go. Fine. Shot oh, really? Round and reach for the horror That's just rude. Evil's creatures. Super rude. Fine, we'll go the normal way. You get. That is a gimmick that I don't approve of. Even slightly. Oh, we're going to arrive... Just in time to get walloped by, uh, uh, or rather to join in a, a fight when I don't have any creatures. <laughs> or at least not any high level ones. At least our, um, our enemies have entered the dungeon. Back up to full health. Vine shot really. out of the ground and Come on now. For the horror hosting evil right, let's creatures. go this way. Hopefully we can get through. Uh, we have got plenty of undead there, though. And that is what I love about undead. Right, we're going to need another Naga. We're going to need another Orc, though. So let's get you guys there already. Right, let's carry on. Hopefully we can sneak there past. There are enemies in your dungeon. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's not fine, it's bad. Uh, right, let's get back there. They shouldn't be able to engage now. So, womp. Let's get you all and deploy you all about there. And then go for the novice, please. Yes, I know. You You, you took a, a couple of, of hits there straight away. And well, now it's super bad, but, you know, it is what it is. Right, let's grab all of you. Keep need our uh, tanky yourself. demons over there. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, man. Our undeads are almost out already. Uh, Talia, invoke the shadows. The there we go. Ah, uh, force multiplier. I love you. Pop. Unfortunately, we've got more. We need that novice down again. Uh, actually, Talia, can I get you behind? Yeah. Oh, actually, that's not a good Destroy idea. The good. Pop you there, because that cannon will wreck you. Okay, how much beer have we got? We've got a, a bit, now that we've lost the book that uh, enabled, uh, kept our one um, orc from needing beer. 
But it's good that we've actually got a production of it. Uh, yeah, well done. You don't actually need to do, uh, attack the cannon. It will just die on its own. I mean, it'll do a little bit of damage to the minions as they, as they walk in past, but it's not a huge amount. Uh, sure, let's get another minion. Who are we going to take this time? Um, an imp is good, but I think I would prefer to have another orc. A little bit more tank. There we go. Alright then, so we are going to need a location for traps now. Since I've kind of moved this around a little bit, uh, I could buy myself a little bit more time by pulling this. Uh, pathway all the way up again. If, ooh, okay, there's something there. Sometimes you can do a little bit of scouting around on the map by just trying to build things. Uh, sure, let's get a 3 by 5 over here. We will dig out that wall, but we will fill it back. Yeah, well, actually, no, we want it to be about there instead. There we go. Now, we'll have our trap area over here instead. But we will dig out this wall for now. Your little snobs really? have dug up a number of rootlings. Oh, that's a rude! To the enemy. Rude little rootlings! I disapprove! We'll, we'll make very short work of them. There the are enemies army, in though. your dungeon. Uh, it would be also very nice to make very short work of the novice if we drop you right in the middle. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Do need the novice being taken out though. There. Yeah, I think I smacked the novice. I'm not sure. You know what? I can't even tell now. Maybe, maybe popping you in the middle was not the brightest. No, the novice is still there. Yeah, she's dead. It's fine. It's fine. We fixed the problem. It was rather brute force kind of fix, but uh, sometimes it was the best kind. Right, let's get this fleshed out around there, and we'll have just one door into this little area back here, and that's where we're gonna finally get to traps. Oh, it'll be so good to have them. I could put up some medium traps. Um, would be worth it, actually. Yes. Some manual traps are very, very useful things. Honestly, this entire corridor here hey is day. not particularly good. Uh, as stands, but... Uh, hmm. No, we want, to, we want to put our traps at the end of... A few little corridors just to encourage our enemies to have soaked up some damage first so that a medium trap which does a lot of damage will apply it at the right time and we can we can thin out the, the herd as it were there we go uh, the reason why I'm putting these walls back uh, these walls are red rather is because you cannot have uh, a path which completely blocks access in some capacity to the rest of the dungeon and uh, so we are going to need these there. And then eventually we're going to get one of those right there. It's going to be grand. There we go. And these walls, as such, will allow us to place down a good many arrow traps as well, which would be fantastic for us. All right, let's get all of this built up. And we want that right there. Perfect. Right, a vortex wouldn't be a bad move because it would give us some mana resources. So let's go ahead and build out a vortex here. I believe... Uh, how big does the vortex need? Oh no, sorry. This is this is the portal. We, we need the mana shrine, which is something we need to unlock. My bad. Uh, where are we? Arcanum. And the mana is stored. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what we want. We don't have any spells yet, but we will. Uh, right, so how big is that? That is a 3x3, three three, so we can just pop it in the middle if we would like to. And I think we... I see no reason not to do it that way. There we go. Start popping it down the Arcanum now. We will eventually need a library so we can upgrade things. And that isn't the same as unlocking them. We would literally be upgrading the things that already exist. It's actually quite an important aspect of it. And you can make much, much more powerful. Like, for example, like elemental traps, which are really, really good. Right, let's get that fleshed out as well. There we go. Right now, all of our traps are going to exist down there, which is actually quite far away, but it'll do. Right. 
We would like this arrow trap there, a trap there, one down here, one pointing up, one going in. And then we'll have floor traps around the place as well. If we can just wound them a little bit, it'll help. But generally, if they've got a novice in their group, it is still going to hurt a bit. Now, the problem with having put this all the way down here is that we are not encouraging any minions that spawn up here to go and join them. So we're actually going to need to draw this out. And that means going through some more enemies, unfortunately. Uh, but still, I think I would rather do that than, than have to uh, move that little area all the way back up here. I like having the enemies quite far away. <laughs> For obvious reasons, really. Uh, there we are. So, we will almost certainly encounter some shenanigans over on this side. Uh, but for now... Your little oh. snots have dug up a number of rootlings. Okay, and what? We uncovered them Your pretty quickly. Yourself. There we go. Now, can we get some more minions? Yes, we can. And those more minions should be... One in one goblin. There we go. That will help. Alright. Now, we just wait to hook everything up. Though I could also be digging from this direction, which is probably worthwhile doing. The excavating evil had discovered a buried room in the underground containing a few heroes. Hooray! Whatever were they up to in there? Probably something nefarious. Oh wait, no, that's my job. Still, I don't want them there, so we should really kill them quickly. What earth is this? Healing well. Heals nearby heroes? I disapprove. As long as we can take this out, that will be fine. There we go. Healing well is gone. The respawn is almost gone. Ah, job well done. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. This is my rule. And by sip, I mean giant gluttonous swig. Because I do not think that evil would sip. Just like that. That's something I want. Okay, go through here then. I'll eventually hook that up, maybe. Right now we seem to be doing okay for gold. Could always do a little bit better, I guess, but for now. Right, have we managed to get any of the traps set up, I wonder? Probably not yet. And we do not have the boxes to do the rest of them. I think what we need more little snots. So let's go ahead and get some. There we go. That will help out a lot. Just increase our workforce several times. Okay. Well, I mean, we could at least mine out the area around it, I guess. Uh, of course, I could help out enormously by uh, picking up the gold. It's payday. I suppose. There we go. Now, we're still dragging uh, enemies into into here, and we're getting a little bit of evil as they slowly succumb to their wounds. Uh, right. If we're going to have orcs, then we probably want to get Ironhide and, in fact, the Gobblebot, just so that our goblins and orcs can wear pretty impressive armor. But, honestly, I think Simple Spells is probably the best one for me to get right now, because that Portal spell is absolutely... Amazing. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Okay. Where from? Uh, up the top. Oh, okay. I, I definitely want that novice sticking up first. Mm. Let's grab everyone then. And I guess about here. Right, the cannon has already gone down. It wasn't the best placement, really, but the cannon isn't going to be able to get in on the fight much at this corner. That should generally help us. Now, the undead, I don't mind if they go down, simply because they will resurrect and eventually get back to full health. The horde going down, though, until we get a crypt, that's going to be a problem, because we are losing them. If they're a high-level unit, then that is a high-level unit that we no longer have, which does kind of suck. And this is really not a good idea. Now, yeah, I need you over there. Literally, I will throw you at the enemy. There you go. Could you go for the Apprentice next? Probably one of the higher damage dealers there. Thank you. Well done. Because that little corridor, we couldn't bring our full might. We had a 
the massive numbers advantage, we just couldn't get our numbers to the battle, which does kind of suck a little bit, honestly. Right, let's drop off that. Now, it is daytime. It isn't great for us. What on earth? Is oh, it's gold fight. Nice. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to be sending them all the way down here. We we'll may as well grab this mana while we're there. And, in fact, I will help out. Like the helpful evil that I am. There we go. And might as well expand. There are enemies in, in your here dungeon. So that we can hold more, more mana there. Um, let's not be Give there. Give me my orders. Your orders are to not be there. Who have we got next? Uh, one healer and unfortunately a priestess who's an even better healer. Actually, this is perfect timing. Oh. All of the healers are at the back. Go, go, go for the weak one first. Ah, oh, no, they're they're tanks of arrived. Oh, that still is a better room where our numbers can be used to a greater advantage. There we are. Precess needs to go down, so Talia, use a bit. We will do this properly this time. Uh, and I will show that it's just that I was being derpy before. Not that I don't understand how tactics work. There we go, and we can now seal this off as well. If we're lucky, and we can do it quickly. There we go. Well done, everyone. Perfect. Well, I mean, no, not perfect, but still, uh, not terrible either. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll grab this too. There we go. Put that down there. Now, you want the, the demons, because they will worship the shrines and generate a mana. Once the, the hold is up, then they'll stop doing it. But uh, in the beginning, that's fine. You should always have a little bank of mana, because without it... Your demons cannot regenerate, and that is a pretty bad thing to happen. Can you fill that out for me? Thank you. There we go. All sorted. We've got a bit of a, a wending way to have to get down there. there. That looks interesting. Why can I not get to that? Enemies have entered the dungeon. I suspect shenanigans, obviously, but sure. Uh, I will eventually want you to go down. Have we built any traps yet? No. Well... I don't approve. Thankfully, Snotlageddon, what a fantastic name, is delivering boxes to the Tinkerer's machine. I love the animations on the machine, so let's bomb them down. Then we're going to have to wait for a goblin tinkerer to come along. You're going to get a slap, though, because as much as I like the name, you're still an imp, and I'm still evil. Uh, more should be delivered, though. I love the fact that that's throwing them out of the room. Oh, dear. Where, where did that? Talia? I'll be back. Did you have to? Ah, uh, now I've got to buy you back. Ah, uh, never, never lose sight of Italia. They're fantastically good at dying. Uh, still, it's not so bad. Well, let's get that. And we'll have to wait on the other one. 500? I'm not sure that you're worth it, frankly, Italia. Come on, then. Let's get the rest of you down here so that you don't get ambushed on the way. You go down there. There we are. Right, if we can get a few more of these built, though. As I was saying, I want one in that direction. You don't have to put them like this. You can have multiples facing down the same alley, uh, area. I just kind of like having only one trap facing each corridor uh, until later on. Then you can start getting a little bit more fancy. Right, these will not take anyone out. Even if they were all built by the time the enemies get there, which they're not going to be. Uh, they still wouldn't take them out. But if we're super lucky, they're going to become sluggish by the time they arrive. Uh, I would like that. Oh, no. I want the priestess. Oh, she's already got a bit of damage. That's good times for us. Very good times for us, actually. Okay. Our banshees are doing well. The zombies are doing well. Everything is going quite nicely, I must say. All right. Now, of course, having the traps all the way down here does kind of make a lot more work for our little snotlings and yeah it would be better if they didn't have loads of work to do it's just payday. because it would expedite things but at the same time i'm evil so a little bit of inefficiency in order to make the lives of my minions that little bit harder i think it's a fair exchange really um unfortunately my orcs oh my iron hides i should say are wandering off where is my goblin now have i still got a goblin hmm, apparently i do where uh, the goblin is not a gobble bot yet. I think they have to be level five for that. But All right, well at least my my goblin uh, my imps are back to mining gold, but we are gonna run out before too long, and that's not gonna be a very good time. Um, the minions aren't far off. 
Most people are going to have time to get to... Uh, uh, time to get their money. But that's about it. I want to let them, though, because otherwise they're going to get very unhappy. There we are. That's a very nice level Naga there. Uh, looks like you're going to go and take care of the machines. Excellent. I approve. Uh, right, there we go. I think everyone has collected their wages now. Wow, I must have owed you a ridiculous amount of back pay. How unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, you're going off to, to rest, which I guess I'll allow this once. But I would very much like everyone to be grabbed. Then... Go ahead. You should stop being stunned by the time they come around the corner. Uh, or not, I guess. But uh, that's fine. Get in there. Take on the priestess. There we go. Very good. Talia, you'll go to the back. To the get, uh, go and attack the priestess from the flank. There we are. In fact, I should open up with Talia at the back, honestly. Because you can summon her shades then while everyone else is slowly recovering from being stunned. But that wasn't a bad little fight there. It is night time. We could press out and do some damage, maybe. Well, it certainly wouldn't be a bad thing. But, um, thinking that, really, what we need to do is we need to get up there. Smash that outpost down. That may be one of the rune stones. As you destroy these outposts, you reduce the amount of reinforcements and uh, attack waves you get. You can increase the amount of time that it takes them to get there, so on and so forth. It is generally in your best interest to do so. Let's pop that one there. I really want one of you, but it's going to require four boxes. Uh, oh, no, we can. Fantastic, okay. Well, that will be very nice. Then I want these at each entry point. There we go. That is a pretty hefty amount of damage that will be done there. Uh, I should be able to place that down. All right. Now, that one has to be activated manually. The rest will activate by themselves, and that will be glorious. Let's expand our prison too, just because I like having big prisons full of uh, full of heroes who really wish they weren't there. But it looks like we've run out of time, so we're going to have to pick up this mission in the next episode, I'm afraid. I do hope you have enjoyed this one, though, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.